it's okay. I think on this weather not. <laughs> This I've never seen before. Okay, okay. thank you. Danish. Yeah. You should enjoy before it gets. And this family turned the castle into a fortress. They started bringing cannons up here and they built the houses, the batteries for the cannons. 1803, the time that the Holy German Empire began to break apart under the influence of Napoleon Bonaparte, the French emperor and the border lines within Germany changed, basically depending on who was friend was enemy of the French. are white. This country is a white wine country. We have 85% white grapes and 15% red grapes. Shall I come in? And here it is for makes the labels and the caps. Between middle September to the end of October we harvest it. Right. And here you can see our vineyards. It is behind our house. Yeah. This picture. Oh, wow. <laughs> Days after start, is it sweet? And I can stop the fermenting with special filters. If this wine is sterile, stop the fermenting and I have a sweet wine. I have more sugar, not so much alcohol. If I like it medium dry, let the fermenting five, six, seven days long as the sugar goes, the alcohol comes. If I like it dry, let the fermenting cook to the end and I filter the wine later. Uh, set free and then you tell the. Uh, then, then you can then you taste it. The... Oh, the jerk of it? Mm. It's dry, sweet, really sweet. Are you gonna try it? It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> really nice. Is it Prost or Post? Prost. Post. 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 In English is cheers. Cheers, yes. <laughs> Ooh, 
was the thing that you love to do? Um, the thing that I loved to do was the Roman ruins, 100%. I would not expect at all to come to Germany and see Roman ruins, but you have like an imperial bath, like literally bathrooms that were wild, that were from the Roman times, really cool basilicas and churches. The Roman ruins were spectacular. And you gotta do that with a tour guide because, you know, they sort of bring it to life. They, they understand what they're talking about. And it's wild to see something that was built in like uh, BC, like 17 BC in the early 100s and 200s. It's, it's wild to see something like that. Let's give you a little tour of this restaurant. This restaurant was here in the medieval times. And now it's a fabulous place to bring your family to eat and explore typical German foods. This is mashed potatoes with sauerkraut mixed in. Totally delicious. This is a typical dish in Germany, Wurstsalat. Chicken wings, but a little bit different. It has more of a seasoned uh, salt kind of taste and the french fries are a lot more fresh. This is a, one of the many kinds of sausages available in a curry ketchup. And then for my vegan daughter, vegetables, super fresh vegetables. Really good. Really good. We're at Calchera, not just for ice cream and gelato and frozen yogurt, but for the famous spaghetti ice cream that we've been hearing so much about. This looks like spaghetti with the sauce on top. Perfect for an Italian family. Does it taste like spaghetti? Just good strawberry ice cream. No, it looks like the one that's tripping me out is the is the chocolate on top. It looks like Parmesan cheese. It's coconut, right? No, or that's, that's it's white chocolate. White, white chocolate. chocolate, yeah. Feels really good. I think because the architecture is really cute and nothing like you've ever seen before. It's small, but it's not small town. There's always something to do. There's just a lot of interesting, cool places to be in Trier. Even for a vegan, did you find food? I did. Germany in itself, and especially Trier, is amazing for vegans and vegetarians. It's not just all sausages. I love eating and the food was incredible. It was like blown me away because not only did they have sausages, but even the Italian food. We went to the same Italian restaurant twice and we've only been here for three days. So Italian food, German food was all really good. And how was um, the shopping? The shopping was excellent. I think our, our suitcase would show that. We have a ton of stuff in all of our bags of a lot of different stuff. Like, like a lot of cool trinkets and chocolates yeah. and candy. Germany, thumbs up or thumbs down for teenagers? Thumbs, thumbs up. up.